Linda Grant's novel, When I Lived in Modern Times, is a work of historical fiction that explores the tumultuous events leading up to the creation of the State of Israel in 1948. Set in Tel Aviv during the 1940s, the novel follows the story of a young British woman named Evelyn Sert who emigrates to Palestine in search of a new life and identity. Through Evelyn's experiences, Grant offers a nuanced and complex portrayal of the political, cultural, and personal tensions that characterize the period leading up to the establishment of Israel. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is its vivid depiction of the vibrant and cosmopolitan atmosphere of Tel Aviv during the 1940s. Grant captures the energy and excitement of a city on the cusp of transformation, as Jewish immigrants from all over the world flock to Palestine in search of a new beginning. Through her protagonist, Evelyn, Grant portrays the exhilaration and sense of possibility that comes with starting over in a new place. At the same time, however, the novel also highlights the challenges and contradictions of this process of cultural and national reinvention. Evelyn's struggle to reconcile her own British identity with her desire to embrace her Jewish heritage is emblematic of the tensions that existed between different strands of Zionism at the time. Another major theme of the novel is the complex relationship between Jews and Arabs in Palestine during the pre-state period. Grant does not shy away from depicting the violence and conflict that characterized this era, but she also emphasizes the ways in which Jews and Arabs were intertwined in everyday life. Through the character of Sa'idi, a young Arab man who becomes Evelyn's lover, the novel explores the possibility of cross-cultural understanding and solidarity. At the same time, however, it also recognizes the deep-rooted historical and political forces that made the conflict between Jews and Arabs seemingly inevitable. The novel's protagonist, Evelyn, is a complex and multifaceted character who embodies many of the tensions and contradictions of the era. As a young woman who has left behind her middle-class British upbringing to start a new life in Palestine, she is a symbol of the ways in which the Zionist project offered the possibility of reinventing oneself. At the same time, however, Evelyn is also a deeply conflicted character who struggles to reconcile her own desires with the demands of the broader Zionist movement. Her relationships with the various men in her life, including her lover Saidi, the charismatic Zionist leader Johnny, and the cynical journalist Leon, reflect the various political and cultural currents that were vying for dominance in Palestine at the time. One of the most powerful aspects of the novel is its frank depiction of the violence and trauma that accompanied the creation of Israel. Grant does not shy away from the harsh realities of war and displacement, and her portrayal of the refugee camps that sprang up in the aftermath of the 1948 war is particularly affecting. At the same time, however, the novel also recognizes the emotional and psychological toll that this violence took on the people involved. Evelyn's growing disillusionment with the Zionist project and her eventual decision to leave Israel reflect the sense of loss and dislocation that many Jews experienced during this period. In conclusion, Linda Grant's When I Lived in Modern Times is a powerful and nuanced work of historical fiction that offers a complex and multifaceted portrayal of the pre-state period in Palestine. Through the character of Evelyn and her relationships with the people around her, Grant explores the political, cultural, and personal tensions that characterize this era, 
and she does so with a sensitivity and nuance that is both impressive and affecting. Ultimately, the novel is a testament to the resilience and complexity of the human spirit in times of great upheaval and transformation.